guys! What's up? So, it's that time of the year. 2017 has come to an end. And as usual, I'm doing my annual favorites. This started at 2014. My 2014 favorites. And I don't think that I have done it since 2015. Let's get to my 2017 favorites year-round favorites okay so first up is this bag I have used this bag a lot so this bag was from it came from Taiwan my grandmother mom two aunts and my cousin went to Taipei and my grandmother bought me this as a gift it has a lot of pockets one here one here one here and there's a secret pocket here. Oh, there. So this is where I put like things that I need to hide. Love it. Very chic. So I use it almost with any outfit and for anything. For example, at school, I use this for school as well. So bag. Next is another attire, and it's this one. Same for, came from my grandmother. She wore it once. She bought it from the US and she wore it when she went to Japan recently. And it's white and it has a cat. See that cat? I love it. She knows that I love cats. Even though we have dogs, I love cats. So yeah. All of you guys know that I'm a fine arts major major in advertising we have this subject it's called cartooning obviously you know from the name of the subject itself it's pretty obvious that we do animation and it wasn't quite a requirement but we had to have it and it's a graphic tablet or drawing tablet so I got this it's from JW Concept. It's a generic brand. I got it from Octagon. It's a gadget store here in the Philippines. I didn't want the, the Wacom one, which is like half its size. I wanted a big one and it's cheaper. It, a Wacom costs like 4,000 pesos and I don't want to spend that much. So I got this because I know that I won't be using it a lot. So I got this. It was 1,800 something or 1 1 something. It's just below 2,000 pesos so I got it. It has all these buttons with different mechanics. It comes with its, ta its pen. So I have the pen and the stand for the pen. If you open up, if you open it, it has, it has the other nibs of it. Future projects be using cartooning the things that I've learned from cartooning in the subject of things that I use technical wise I bought this this one is a class it's not a class it's a fake gorilla tripod bought it for 200 pesos in Divisoria you can buy anything in Divisoria for less than the original price I'm serious this is only 200 pesos I use this for vlogging if you guys didn't know. A new phone. I got a new phone. I got a new phone and it's a Vivo Y55S and I also got an ungrip here. It's an it's an ungrip. It's like a pop socket but it's smaller and it's not like the ring which is I find more convenient since I'm using this for vlogging. This part if I use a pop socket it's it's very bulgy, but when I use the ungrip, it's like perfect. Now, this is not a sponsored video from Vivo, but this phone is pretty awesome. So I got it in gold because when I bought the phone, there was no stock for rose gold. My friend has a rose gold. It's sleek and it looks nice. Let's see very chic the camera as well Woo, you see yourself 
the camera is awesome. If you guys didn't know, check my Instagram account. So check my Instagram account. Most of the photos from here was taken with this. So it starts from this photo. I've used this phone to take this photo. Then up to here. So the very phone quality is awesome. The photo quality. I also use it for my vlogs. Use my phone for my vlogs. If you haven't seen my previous vlogs, when I was looking for a phone, I had two options. It's either Oppo or Vivo. Oppo focuses more on the selfie cam, so I didn't had I didn't look much there. I just looked at the prices. And when I went to Vivo, like bitch. I salute salesperson sales personnel at Vivo because they were very accommodating to me. So yeah. So when I went to Vivo, I was looking at all the phones and one guy approached me and said, Ma'am, what are you looking for? And I said, I'm looking for a camera that has like a high quality back cam instead of a front cam because I don't usually take selfies. I'm more of like a photographer kind of person and they recommended me for this. The camera, oh my gosh. The camera has, the camera has a lot of settings. The camera has night vision, ultra HD, PowerPoint, professional, slow motion, and time lapse. I've used the time lapse feature. I haven't used the slow motion yet. So I wanted to take a professional photo. So it has an equalizer. Then I can use the exposure here. Adjust it there. Let's see. I can also adjust the ISO. As well as the shutter speed. The white balance. And the focus. Vivo is really an awesome phone to use. Next, aside from my gadgets and bags, my crown and glory is my hair or my face, which it isn't much to work with, but very much confident on what I look like facial wise, not body wise. Still kind of insecure about that. What I got for Christmas is this it's a box of face mask from my aunt and uncle i think they bought it somewhere i'm not sure if they bought it at cna which is a korean brand store but look at this look at how much of a face mask that is it's like awesome so i'm very much into face mask it's either peel off or like the cotton ones next is facial wash so these are Japanese brands perfect whip specifically of specifically for, by Senka they're a Korean brand and I got introduced to them by my mom her boss went to Japan and bought her facial wash this size and she gave it to me then another person went to Japan and gave her a smaller one and gave it to me now I have this too from my sister. She gave it to me as a gift. This facial wash is like very effective on me. The sad part though, it isn't cruelty free. I'm really trying to use cruelty free makeup for everything. But sadly this isn't. But since it really works on my skin, I'm using it until I find the perfect cruelty free makeup I mean facial wash next up is this if you guys didn't know this is not a silicone for the nips this is silicone beauty blender I got it for my birthday from Nilo my friend so yeah I've been using this and I love it next are three things this one I stole it from my mom 
It's Bath and it's Bath and Body Works Twilight Wood. See, and I love it. It keeps my skin very moisturized. It's better than like lotions from Victoria's Secret, which are like sticky on me. So perfect. It's 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shia Body Cream. Next one is another Bath and Body Works. This was a gift for my mom, for my mom, and my mom gave it to me because because I was looking for like new perfumes. So this it's so pretty, it's so me. It's Tokyo Lotus and Apple Blossom, and it smells so sweet. Love it. And this one is also mine. Um, it's from Victoria's Secret. It's a gift from my grandmother's sister who lives in San Francisco. She gave it to me as the usual Christmas gift. I always have new perfumes from her and this one just smells so good. Next are other things. I'm getting old and you know how I know. I've been loving socks. Yeah. These ones are from my cousin. She, she bought it for me last year Christmas. She gave it to me. Everyone in my family knows I love cats. Then another one, I was the one who bought this one. It's a cute yellow color. And I have worn it a lot of times. It has this cute little bunny on it. So cute. Next is this. We had a raffle for our Christmas party, family Christmas party. This is a handmade 12 watercolor fruit painting. I don't know. That's what it's heard. And then here in the back. So it's a watercolor compatible notebook. Super cute. Like a hard bag. So if you guys like this video and want me to do another one for it next year, which will be 2018, hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below on with, with, on what video I should do next on my channel, and see you guys next time. Cheerio! Bye. Mwah.